What's up everybody, Brian Ford here, and I'm bringing you Mega Man Battle Network. That was my mother! My mother calling for my sister. Oh boy! So, now we have, we've defeated two areas, we have three more to go. On to the next one. Interrupting me for game show uh, stuff. Damn you, Price is right. Uh, so I figured out why my recordings uh, haven't been exactly working. Uh, because I'm still doing post commentary. So, I record this, and I figured out that my video settings, or my <laughs> Bandicam, needed to be updated. As a result, my microphone was muted. That's a stupid system! That's a very, very stupid system! But so yeah, I was like... Now before I knew that, I was like, why is my microphone not working? And then I noticed that my webcam... The webcam screen showed no uh, no uh, sound was being produced. So I was like, oh, shoot. Well, that's just lovely. So, I go with the next thing, and I proceeded to look up a microphone. Uh, I already had one that I wanted to get, but I was saving my money in order to get a uh, tablet that I've, because oh, I've always wanted one. So, I'm just like, right now I'm gonna have to spend this money that I've been saving up for a, a nice tablet to play some video games on. And I was very disappointed. But then I was like, wait. Maybe I should check updates. Or rather, I was just randomly clicking, I was just like, can I just check on this? And it was, and then I was, by the way, this needs to be updated. I was like, huh, maybe updating this thing will help me fix what's wrong with my goddamn computer, uh, Bandicam. So I click on it, I download it, and it works now. Uh, but at least it's still working. Hey, but at least the, uh, the original still recorded the gameplay audio. That way I don't have to redo everything. Or else I'd be so screwed. I don't think there would be any way for me to play back up to the point that I played up to. Any time I would have had to play the whole game without audio. Well, that would be just lovely, wouldn't it? Uh. Yeah. Yes. Uh. My foot fell asleep. Great. Ugh. I have nothing to talk about seeing as I... <laughs> seeing as... It's just like... Bleh. I am talking about <laughs> my commentary in my original was really good. Now I have nothing to talk about. Great. That's just lovely. Oh. 
out there is Aqua Aura. So basically, it will know anything less than 10 damage, but if you get hit by anything electrical, it will do double the damage. Oh hey, it's Floyd! I'm not paying attention at all. <laughs> Oh my god. That's a good little Eskimo. And that's key number three. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What can I talk about? Ah, great. My stomach's killing me. Uh, what to talk about, what to talk about. Literally, I'm nothing. I know what to talk about. My driving lessons! That was fun! So... My dad... He works at a... Uh, St. Marianne's... Uh, a retirement home for nuns. Now... Now... Around 10.30 or so, they have, uh, a mass. During that mass, uh, my father took me to the... to his work to show me how to drive. Specifically, he was showing me how to parallel park and... Uh, three-point turns. Now, I live in a city-like area, so three-point... Not three-point turns. So, parallel parking is a must. So, um... You know, I did the three-point turns. That was okay. Um... I nearly ran into a tree. Or, or I went up a curve next to a tree. So I nearly hit said tree. But uh, then we get to the... Uh, part where I do the parallel parking! And that's not fun. So... You should, my dad, we... I drive up to the work in the shed, get the calls from my dad to show me how to uh, park. He grabs the... He sets up the code, shows me how to do it. Then I, it's my turn. And this goes all the way bad. First off... Uh, first attempt. I hit a cone and I uh, put it under the tire. It's very you have to be very quick about uh, when it comes to, the par when par to parallel parking. Quick is a word that I would best not describe as. And I was like more than a foot away from the curb. And you may be wondering, well, how f why does uh, how far away from the curb? Uh, what does that equal? I'll explain. The in the driving requirements, the farther you are the away from the curb. The more or less, or rather, they are very finicky about how they like to do things. For instance, if I am that far away from the curb, they will uh, see. I'm doing a horrible job at explaining things. If you're a foot or more away from the curb. It is a massive reduction. But you will 
So the closer you are to the curve, the better. But you don't want to be so close to the curve that you're um, up it. It's a very stupid thing, in my opinion. But, um, whatever, I'm not a driving instructor or license giver. But so, first attempt, because I did like, because I did three attempts. First attempt, I hit a cone and it was more than a foot away from the curb. Second attempt, I scraped one of the cones and I was up the curb a little. Uh, luckily, the curves where my dad works are very, very low. Uh, third attempt, I did it pretty much perfectly, but once again, I was up the curb a little. So I did pretty okay, especially for my first time. At least I wasn't like my uh, dad's dad. It was just like, hey, guess what? I'm going to take you out on a highway and you will drive. I don't think I'll ever be me. <laughs> I will, if I ever have kids, I will never be like, here, drive on a freaking highway. I am not that suicidal. Actually, I'm not suicidal at all. I'm sorry if I offended anyone by saying that. And yes, I'm saying sorry because people like to get anal about stuff and deal with it. Ooh, I did get a haircut. It's really short now. It's like boy uh, haircut short. My sister said that when it's messy, I look like a young... What was his name? Oh, no. Wilson? No. Crap, I can't remember. I legitimately can't remember. Uh, I can't remember! I can't remember. I do remember that when my old, when I originally got my hair sh cut extremely short, I looked like Justin Bieber. That was insulting. I know it was someone famous, because she said it was someone famous. Just can't remember. Ah, that's gonna drive me insane. Oh well. Jericho wasn't really all that exciting. They did get to- they did bust cut my hair and it felt so weird. It was like, I'm going to saw off all your hair. Which was really stubborn when it comes to her, her hair. She like- she's just like, uh, I keep saying like a lot, you know. But she prefers her hair to be extremely long. And she has a lot of hair on her head. Like, I swear, there I go again, saying like, but her hair goes all the way down to, like, her, to her lower back. That's long. We also apparently, like, last time we checked, when it came to... Um... Uh, our... Last time, when we went to the doctors, apparently we're the same height and the same weight, which I know, like, weight-wise, maybe, but height-wise is no. She's like an inch tall, she's like maybe an inch or two taller than me. And I'm 5'4", so she should be around 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, but it's weird that we weigh the same, that part's confusing. Though I did lose pounds since my last physical. I've lost like four pounds. I bet I attribute my success to Zumba dance. Anyway, we have destroyed four keys. 
We only have one more. I did not mean to talk to the challenge decks. And 